Local authorities are committed to ensuring that migrants, particularly those fleeing Venezuela, are treated in the best way possible in accordance with Ghana's national and international obligations, Foreign Secretary Robert Prasad indicated on Monday. Prasad was at the time speaking during a virtual webinar on labor and migration hosted by the American Chamber of Commerce on Monday. He was joined by Minister of Labor Joseph Hamilton, who also outlined the government's efforts in this regard. Prasad said the People's Progressive Party civic government is undertaking a series of initiatives to promote safe and orderly migration in keeping with the Global Compact for Migration, a United Nations Treaty. In addition, he noted the need to analyze the local skills gap to determine how best skilled persons in the diaspora and migrant communities could be integrated. Guyana, with its anticipated economic boom, will become an attractive destination for foreign nationals and its diaspora seeking new job opportunities and even opportunities to invest. The reality is that we are already seeing an influx of migrants into the country. There's no doubt that these migrants are now a part of our labor force, working in many of our existing small and medium-sized businesses or seeking to start their own business ventures as means of supporting themselves and their families. He explained that the government has taken steps in line with best practices to ensure humanitarian support is provided in the face of an unprecedented Venezuelan migrant influx. We are therefore committed to examining how to best incorporate migrant laborers into our economy, ensure their humane treatment while simultaneously ensuring that the well-being of our local population is not affected by any xenophobic tendencies. We understand that we must engage in analysis of the skills gap that may exist in our local economy and how to best recruit skilled professionals from a diaspora and elsewhere to take advantage of these opportunities, complementing those with what the migrants would have brought. The reality is that migrants of all persuasions that are at our doorstep compels us to act and to act responsibly and humanely. For instance, the government of Guyana responding to the unprecedented flow of Venezuelans and other migrants in the country has taken exemplary tests of applying best practices in providing much needed humanitarian support to those who have arrived both through regular and irregular pathways. Meanwhile, Minister Hamilton said the United Nations and the International Labour Organization recently launched a project to address issues relating to the integration of migrants which will be held in Guyana and Colombia. The minister committed to having a board of industrial trading provide technical training for migrants settled here. He added that the government is also open to utilizing the Central Recruitment and Manpower Agency to upskill migrants. I committed to the ILO and UN project, the board of industrial training, which is the technical training arm of the ministry, that we will be open to intervene as regards technical training for uh, migrants who are settled in Guyana, and uh, not just to train them, but to ensure that they're accredited and certified. So that commitment we have already made and that commitment I'm, I'm reiterating. The Labour Ministry, he noted, has also been working to increase the number of occupational safety and health officers and to have them trained in Spanish, Portuguese and Mandarin to better serve migrant populations here. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.